49. The Convair Model 49 was an ambitious proposal for a transforming, heavily armed, fire support aircraft for the U.S. Army. It was intended to be versatile, rugged, and quick to deploy, but with the ability to loiter or hover above the battle zone ready for action. The idea was that the aircraft could take off like a helicopter, rotate forwards 90 degrees, and transform into an airplane while in transit to its destination, and then convert back into helicopter mode to provide fire support from the air. The Convair Model 49 was to be heavily armed. The proposed weaponry included a 30mm automatic cannon with 1,000 rounds, or alternatively, a WASP rocket launcher. Two remotely controlled light machine gun turrets with 12,000 rounds, grenade launchers, and hard points for mounting a variety of larger weapons including tow missiles or even a 106mm recoilless gun. SEC Pro RMI Remote Mobile Investigator This is a remote mobile investigator EOD robot that is used by police, fire departments, military, nuclear, and industrial institutions worldwide. It is a lightweight battery operated and multi-purpose vehicle that has proven to be ideal for the remote handling of improvised explosive devices, hazardous chemicals, radioactive materials, firefighting, hostage situations, hijackings, and other hazardous situations. It is a versatile six-wheeled vehicle with removable tracks for extra climbing capability. It adds dual extending front arms, upgraded IP67 plugs and sealed electronics, digital video transmission, and a total of eight camera ports. The robot can be configured for many different applications such as under car searches and second story window access. Scope switch. The scope switch is a new type of scope mount that allows your offhand to remain on the handguard while still controlling the zoom. You can now shoot while zooming and stay engaged when those feral pigs or bad guys scatter. The optical centerline height is 1.93 inch for modern upright shooting with plate carriers and passive aiming with NVGs, similar to the thought behind many red dot risers. The scope switch was designed to work all the way down to 10.5 inch carbines, although we suggest longer barrel lengths for increased velocity with 556. Designed for the armed professional, it also gives hunters and competitive shooters a major advantage to target ID and reduce time before and after taking shots. The Trigger Pouch the trigger pouch is a unique and innovative grenade holster that carries grenades in a safe and secure manner. The trigger pouch allows for quick one-handed release, one action, especially crucial in the world of fighting terrorism where every second is critical. The innovative product has aroused much interest specifically among elite combat and security units around the world. The trigger pouch has six separate security mechanisms which enable both the safe handling and quick extraction of the grenade. The trigger pouch provides many advantages in comparison to a tradition pouch. Deployment of the grenade, being able to extract the grenade in a safe and quick manner without wasting precious time. The trigger pouch allows the operative to extract a grenade in a one-hand action while keeping eyes on the target and one hand on the operative's weapon. Cockerill. It is a first-ever ground interceptor and is a breakthrough combat system for territorial defense interception. It represents a break with traditional concepts and imposes a new paradigm of military land operations. The vehicle is capable of moving at very high speeds on road and off-road with a thermal or hybrid thermal electric drivetrain, light, stealthy, appearance management with adaptive camouflage, and modification of IR and acoustic signature. Integrating multi-sensor data fusion technology, smart helmet, onboard intelligence AI, cameras, sensors, LWS, acoustic gunshot detection and localization, and capable of integrating a suite of effective weapons such as 25mm, 30mm, missiles, rockets, depending on the threat to be neutralized, as well as to foresee the integration of a new generation of effectors. Other striking innovative aspects concern the weapon system which will be completely retractable to ensure its stealth and speed. The vehicle will be quickly transportable by air, plane, helicopter, droppable by parachute, sea, and land. Gas mask. 
This was designed with a dual reflex gasket for better containment around the filter and a wide visual window, creating a wider range of view. The canister is a quality active carbon, catalyst, and high efficiency filter paper which is full of better protective functions against various toxic smoke, toxic fog, toxic gas, germs, and radioactive dust. With a one-size-fits-all in weight of 1.8 pounds, mask, and 1.2 pounds, filters, compatible with standard 40 mm NATO threaded respirators, which are widely available. Used by military personnel, CBRN specialists, and special operations forces all over the world. Jet Suit a jet suit is an individual strap-on jet propulsion technology that allows a person to fly using small, powerful jet engines attached to their body. The suit typically consists of several small jet engines attached to the arms and back of a specially designed suit or harness, which allows the wearer to control their movements and direction of flight. These jet suits aren't new, however, their military application is new and evolving. According to the company, the jet suit is powered by five gas turbine engines that generate more than 1,000 horsepower and produce 144 kilograms of thrust that allows vertical lift of up to 12,000 feet. The personal propulsion system moves at speeds of more than 50 miles per hour and has a typical flight time of up to four minutes. Ever since 2021, the military imagination of employment of jet suits has moved beyond logistic application into the realms of specialized military operations. Thor is a counterswarm electromagnetic weapon the Air Force Research Laboratory developed for defense of air bases. The system provides non-kinetic defeat of multiple targets. It operates from a wall plug and uses energy to disable drones. This is a weapon used to disable the electronics in drones and was specifically engineered to counter multiple targets, such as a drone swarm, with rapid results. Thor, a first-of-its-kind system, stows completely in a 20-foot transport container, which can easily be transported in AC-130. The system can be set up within three hours and has a user interface that has been designed to require minimal user training. The overall cost to develop the technology was approximately $18 million. The system uses high-power microwaves to cause a counter-electronic effect. A target is identified, the silent weapon discharges in a nanosecond, and the impact is instantaneous. Bulletproof Vests A bulletproof vest, also known as a ballistic vest or a bullet-resistant vest, is an item of body armor that helps absorb the impact and reduce or stop penetration to the torso by firearm-fired projectiles and fragmentation from explosions. The vest may come in a soft form, as worn by many police officers, prison guards, security guards, and some private citizens, used to protect against stabbing attacks or light projectiles, or hard form, using metallic or pyramid components. This was designed to fit most body frames. This plate carrier's detachable cummerbund support allows the user to don on and off with ease. Includes a built-in front kangaroo-style utility pouch for added space, tool compartments, and optional side plates. The Spartan plate carrier has a Velcro support system for the attachment of an ID panel. Manufactured with an advanced interspacer mesh lining that helps keep the user cool and dry even during the most extreme situations. Added features such as padded shoulders, reinforced drag strap, and optional front cummerbund support help create a more comfortable and relaxed fit when carrying equipment. The MQ-9 Reaper the MQ-9 Reaper is the primary offensive strike unmanned aerial vehicle for the U.S. Air Force. Given its significant loiter time, wide-range sensors, multi-mode communication suite, and precision weapons, it provides a unique capability to perform strike, coordination, and reconnaissance against high-value, fleeting, and time-sensitive targets. Reapers can perform missions and tasks that include intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, close air support, combat search and rescue, precision strike, buddy laser, convoy slash raid overwatch, route clearance, target development, and terminal air guidance. The Reaper is part of a remotely piloted aircraft system. A fully operational system consists of several sensors slash weapon equipped aircraft, ground control station, predator primary satellite link, and spare equipment along with operations and maintenance crews for deployed 24-hour missions. 
The basic crew consists of a rated pilot to control the aircraft and command the mission, and enlisted aircrew members to operate sensors and weapons as well as a mission coordinator, when required. To meet combatant commander's requirements, the Reaper delivers tailored capabilities using mission kits containing various weapons and sensor payload combinations. The U.S. Air Force proposed the MQ-9 Reaper system in response to the Department of Defense Directive to support initiatives of overseas contingency operations. Drone Gun Tactical the Drone Gun Tactical is a highly effective UAS countermeasure designed for two-hand operation and long-range defeat. The product includes high-performance directional antennas and a lightweight, robust rifle-style design, featuring an intuitive control panel user interface to select and engage the range of jamming frequencies for target defeat. The Drone Gun Tactical provides a safe countermeasure against a wide range of UAS threats, e.g. drones, with no damage to common UAS models or surrounding environment. When disruption is triggered, UAS targets, e.g. drone, will respond via vertical on the spot landing or return to its remote controller or starting point. Drone Shield CUAS defeat capabilities do not involve protocol manipulation or cyber tactics, given the limitations of those methods. Navy Landing Craft Air Cushion the Landing Craft Air Cushion, or LCAC, is used primarily by the U.S. Marine Corps to transport troops and equipment from amphibious ships to operations ashore. The LCAC is the only transport that can transport an M1 Abrams tank from an amphibious ship to the beach. The Landing Craft Air Cushion, LCAC, is a high-speed, over-the-beach, fully amphibious landing craft capable of carrying a 60 to 75-ton payload. The LCAC payload capability and speed combine to significantly increase the ability of the marine ground element to reach the shore. Air cushion technology allows this vehicle to reach more than 70% of the world's coastline, while only about 15% of that coastline is accessible by conventional landing craft. In addition to beach landing, LCAC provides personnel transport, evacuation support, lane breaching, mine countermeasure operations, and marine and special warfare equipment delivery. Lockheed Flying Car The Lockheed Flying Car, also known as the Common Aero Vehicle, CAV, is a revolutionary aircraft that has the ability to transition between fixed-wing flight and helicopter-like hover capabilities. This advanced aircraft is being developed by Lockheed Martin, a renowned aerospace and defense company. The flying car utilizes cutting-edge technology and design features to achieve its unique capabilities. It combines the speed and efficiency of a fixed-wing aircraft with the vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, capability of a helicopter. This allows it to operate in a wide range of environments without the need for traditional runways or helipads. The aircraft's ability to hover enables it to access remote or confined areas efficiently, even in challenging terrains such as mountains or forests. This versatility makes it valuable for a variety of applications, including search and rescue missions, military operations, disaster relief efforts, and exploration ventures. The Lockheed Flying Car incorporates advanced propulsion systems, including multiple engines and tilting rotors, to provide the required thrust for vertical takeoff and landing. It also features a sophisticated avionics system and computerized controls to ensure safe and efficient transitions between fixed-wing flight and helicopter-like hover. The development of the flying car represents a significant advancement in aviation technology, offering enhanced capabilities and versatility. This aircraft has the potential to revolutionize various industries that rely on aerial transportation, providing a flexible and efficient solution for a wide range of missions. Trojan Combat Trojan is an armored engineer vehicle designed to open routes through complex battlefield obstacles. It also has the flexibility to support a wide range of operations, including humanitarian missions. The Trojan is fitted with a full-length mine plow that pushes mines out of the way to clear a safe path for following vehicles. A clear lane marking system can also be fitted. The mine plow can be easily replaced with a dozer blade. The excavator arm is used for earthworks, grabbing and moving obstacles, placing fascines. The standard bucket has a 1 cubic meter capacity. Buckets can be replaced with other attachments. The arm lift capacity is 6.5 tons. This vehicle can carry fascines and drop into ditches. 
Also, it can tow a trailer carrying a Python rocket-propelled minefield breaching system. The Trojan Combat Engineering Vehicle has the same level of armor protection as the Challenger 2 MBT. It provides a very high level of protection against direct fire weapons. If required, additional armor can be added. This vehicle also has enhanced protection against landmines. There is an NBC protection system for the crew, so this engineering vehicle can operate in hazardous environments. This combat engineering vehicle is armed with a remotely controlled 7.62mm machine gun for self-defense. The Trojan has a crew of three, including commander, driver, and operator. Kindly like and subscribe for more if you like this content. Thanks.